This is probably the most exciting lambing I've had yet. Look at those. I hope everybody had a good Christmas yesterday. We had a great day, a nice quiet day as I'm crying. Today I gotta get, I gotta get some stuff done. Uh, we head to my parents' place, which is about an hour and a half. The only depressing thing about today is my radio station is now not playing Christmas music and I've been listening to Christmas music since November 15th. How are you guys doing? You look pretty good. Oh, what is that? She's got like a little fangly. Maybe it's just her wool got messed. <laughs> So Chris is helping me this morning with chores so I can head back to the house and get ready to go to Paris. Uh, but she had a feed cart issue. Our rip cord is just being really stubborn and it, it keeps coming all the way out and it doesn't retract back in. So just needed a little assistance getting that going. While I'm out here, I want to... Um, I want to put another nipple line on this pen and put in those, put in the, the latest little ones. I want to put them in with the, that group to keep that pen that's closest to the feeder. I want to keep that always available for some baby lambs, some new ones, and these guys are getting old enough now. I want to get them moved out into the bigger pen. Um, I like to kind of keep them everything segregated by age. And uh, so I thought I'd just do that quick before I have to run to the house and get ready. So I got a new line. I put it up a little bit from this one. I might raise this one too because my, my pack is getting deeper. So these need raised a little bit too. This is the tricky pack. So, put the new line on. Just going to get a little bit of this. Give it a little bit of slack. And I'm just going to charge the line. There. There. New little. New little nipple spot. Okay guys, get along with your new friends. We're free, we're free! This one's been a little wobbly on her back legs. And yesterday I gave it another shot of selenium because sometimes, sometimes they can get stiff in that back end and I don't know. I don't know if it's white muscle. So this is the one, remember, that I had to tube feed because it didn't get colostrum and this is what happens. They develop any little immunity thing, that's what happens. So this one's just going to be a challenge its whole life mostly, most likely. 
You're cute, though. I'm not, it's nice it's up. Because yesterday it really struggled to get up. You're going to be a baby. You're going to be a big baby. <laughs> my older and wiser sister. My younger and wiser sister. <laughs> You set my, the bar pretty low. Yeah. Where's my niece? <laughs> oh, my niece. Thank you. Okay, let's go see the barn. I am home. This is where I grew up. This used to be my house, right? Here. And it's not here anymore. When did they, when did you guys take down this house? Uh, 2013. 2013, this house went down and my sister built that house. It's much nicer. The old house wasn't quite as nice and it was like 120 years old. But it's a different, it looks completely different here. So anyways, this is where I grew up guys. This whole area was not here when I grew up. We just had the barn and the silos. That's kind of where it ended. Uh, we had an old shed here, but we actually had a tornado go through here in 1996, I believe. We used to have calf hutches right here. I used to feed calves. That's where that was located. But yeah, my brother-in-law and sister put all this grain elevation up uh, a few years ago. So they, they sold the cows in 2008, and that's when they decided to go all grain farming. So this has been kind of a ongoing thing just adding bins kind of like Mark and I but yeah so very similar to ours now um, I believe they do use yeah they use the little silo in uh, they legged it in with the rest of this green green system but yeah I know more about the barn all this is after Sandy this is where we milked about 50 cows every day tie stall we had two harvester silos we had haylage in this silo and uh, high moisture corn in that silo. And then we had a pasture kind of out where there's a cornfield now. So that was all pasture back there behind the barn. It's just weird, like, cause these are here now. My, just, it's got me all, my bearings totally out of whack, but that's kind of the gist. Well, it used to be the milk house, but now it's storage, I think. But we had the cooler was here and all the milk stuff was there, and that was the door in and out of the barn. Our utility room, just a storage room, and then this was the old office. That coons tore down the roof. Oh my god. Yeah, all along the floor there used to be a inside. desk, and oh my god, it's like life after people. Wow, it is literally life after people. Okay, I still have nightmares about this barn hill. So this is where this barn started, was down here. Oh my god. Nightmares. Do the lights work down here? I think I remember. Well, they well <laughs> that's a great light. Like, I had nightmares anyway. That's just like, like, the, like that's a great effect. Am I really this tall or was I just really that short when I used to work here? You were a lot taller. Oh my god. Okay. So, yep, there was ties. So when Grandpa had this farm, this is where he did all the milking. And there was a gutter that came around. And then the, the manure went outside there. And then, uh, yeah, the pens. There was mangers very similar to mine that were here. Like a bunk manger. And then this was a little center alley. And then there was tie stalls on both sides and then and then we, I think we had pens along that wall too because that was that's what we did every Saturday morning is cleaned out pens when all my friends got to go to basketball practice yeah we had a feed cart we'd fill with silage corn silage down here in the old silo and then we'd have to drive it up here and not pinch our fingers on the sides which I always did have broken fingers and then this we called this this was called the long pen, so my sisters, not you, you're not my sister, <laughs> that one, and that one, we spent every Saturday forking this pen by hand and having to window. throw it out the window. So we are, tall. we're pretty strong, we look really weak, but we're really strong. <laughs> Just don't ask us if we have a bad back. <laughs> we have a terrible, we, none of us have good backs, but. The best was when we went for bridesmaids dresses. And oh my God. As if we were swimmers. 
Oh, I, for I forgot about this. Oh yeah, she's like, you guys swimmers? <laughs> That's kind of a compliment. So this is where we milk cows. So it was Thai stall. I'll show you. The cows would, uh, every day they'd go outside to the pasture, stay out there and come in and get milked. And they would stay in here at night. And that's where they would stay. And we would milk them and that's the pipeline. It's just so old. Oh my God, this is crazy. So this was every morning and every night before and after school, this is where we hung out. <laughs> so this is where I spent my childhood. Right here. Like all of it. All of it. Pretty much. I just want mom. Donna, what did you get? What did you get? Show me what you got. I got this. But most important. <gasps> Look! Oh my god! Did Santa get you that? <laughs> Sandy Claus. <laughs> Jess is thoroughly disgusted. The problem with having those the Nest camera system on my phone is the fact that um, I was at mom and dad's just finishing up opening gifts and I looked at my cameras and I'm like, darn it, there's lambs, which is good, but I knew Carissa wasn't home yet and so I texted her and I'm like, where are you? And she's like, oh, I'm not going to be back for another hour or so. I'm like, Ugh, I'm an hour or so away too. So I said, don't worry about it. I'll just run home and deal with this so it's like a long trip home and I looked at my cameras the whole way home just to make sure what lamb was with who. I have a funny feeling that the one lamb got stolen but we'll, we'll go have a look here. Like if I had my guess both white lambs belong to the white ewe, this ewe, but I think I have a couple stealers. Like there's three ewes and two lambs. I think they're hers. Okay, I'm gonna have to do some guessing. Oh boy. She is persistent because she is in the beginning stages of labor. So she was aggressive. Um, but the good thing is this is really good. And I think she's accepting both of them. I know they're hers. But look what else we had today. goodness. Mom, they're so pretty. Hi. 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 Oh, you guys. I literally made the cutest family in the world. Or I, di I didn't make it, but I helped. I helped bring them into the world. So that one stealer, the, the black U, with the really pretty markings, you have to see her lambs. Just a sec. This is probably the most exciting lambing I've had yet. Look at those. They look just like mom. I've never had one give birth to lambs that look exactly like, like, like a black and white one like this. So they're painted lambs, painted mom. And the only thing I can think of is I have the painted ram. So she must have got bred by them. Because they're perfect. Oh my god, they're so cute. You look just like mommy and daddy. Oh my goodness. That is insane. I just cannot get over them. I'm just gonna sit here with them because I am in, I am so much in love right now. So I've always loved this you and she just does her business. She just has her lambs, eats her food. I like ewes that look like her too, I'm not gonna lie. I am a sucker for like very distinguishable sheep because unfortunately, they sometimes look all the same. Oh my 
my god! I love you so much! Anyway, I have a ram that looks just like that lamb with the white flash down its, down its uh, muzzle. And Bill, the guy that I bought the Ritos from, he left him in that group. And he was, I looked at them all and I'm like, what is he? And he's like, he's Rito. And I'm like, I want him. Okay. Oh, I got a really bad back. Okay. I gotta, I gotta keep working here. Oh gosh, I'm getting old, you guys.